Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have something quite a bit different but I believe is absolutely useful and is necessary for me. So this is the reason I purchased it. This is a $50 car jump start starter kit what they're calling it. And this is basically like a big ass power bank that could jump start your car, uh, charge your lipos, uh, set up your ground station to work have usb charging for your gopros has some safety leds it even has a compass it's pretty insane you could even charge your laptop or whatever you want phone gopro anything which i really wanted and i've actually this thing has been stuck in customs for over a month now and i just recently got it like two days ago and i've been playing with it quite a bit and i'm in love and you know the, the 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 uses for this is just insane one of the main reasons why i actually purchased this was for this guy i don't want to use my lipos i don't want to waste my lipos on on soldering uh that's just me i just i just don't like doing that so let's go ahead and crack this guy open um and take a look inside so it does come with a very nice box here all right so let's go ahead and open this guy so everything's in here. We got our instruction manual here. I haven't even read it, but it's pretty straightforward how to use it. Uh, they even give you, you know, all types of charging cables here, USB charging cables. You know, you got your old iPhone 4. You got a micro mini USB. There's something for like an Arduino or something. That would be awesome right there. Uh, you got your iPhone 5s, I think, here. You don't have USB-C, as I believe. Yeah, you don't. And you have your, you know anything that's a micro usb so that's pretty cool and uh they do provide this for you so that's just awesome let's put this to the side now all right they also give us our car jumping part right here which will jump start your car it, supposedly it can jump start a diesel and uh, if some of you don't know diesel car uh needs a quite a bit more amperage to get started that's why the batteries are a bit more expensive than gasoline cars however my car is also diesel that little one so yeah um this is very good this is i just really love this to be honest i haven't tested this part uh, i just actually replaced the battery the other day on my car but um yeah this is very useful if you still have some charging here you can go ahead jump start your car so it's just super awesome right there for example, you're flying, you have your music on. That happened to me quite a bit, but my car is stick shift, so I just push it and then just start it. And, and so that's very bad for diesel, so don't do that. Don't do what I do, but now I don't have to because I have this guy. So that's pretty cool. Let's put this to the side, you know. Um, <clears throat> and they also provide you for a way to charge this guy through your cigarette lighter, which is just awesome. They even give you this. I, this is just insane for 50 bucks. I was very impressed when I opened this guy. Seems good quality. I mean, it's 50 bucks. And for 50 bucks, you're getting a ton load of things. So this is crazy right here. So this is to charge this guy through your cigarette lighter. And uh, let's put this guy to the side now. Let's take a look here. This is also a charger. It's a home charger. It charges 15 volts, 1 amp. So that's the kind of charger it needs. And um, yeah, it comes with it. So you don't have to buy anything. All right, so they give us a bunch of adapters here, and this is to actually charge your PC. You know, it has a 12 volt, 16 volt, and an 18 volt. I think we're gonna check it right now once we turn it on. I actually, forgot. So right here, we could use this for many things. You know, uh, for me, I could use it for one of my ground stations, as you can see here, right there. I just power this the ground station through this guy, and I'm good to go. Or the main reason, one of my main reasons, to actually power up this guy to solder, and it works absolutely beautiful. However. We're going to need to extend this wire, so I will be cutting it and just making it longer. Um, you know, it's just a positive and a negative, really. So there's nothing very scary about that. So yeah, so I'll be doing that very soon. Uh, but this is just, it's just beautiful. I really, really, really love this for 50 bucks. Um, and yeah, you could do a lot more too. I'll show you in a bit. So yeah, you get all these types of headers and connectors. So it's just pretty cool. And this connects to this guy. And these would connect on this side. So let's put this to the side now. And let's take out the big bad boy here. Now there's a bunch of them online. You know, the, the post might trick you. It'll say 89,000 milliamps, but that's not true. Uh, this is around 12,000 milliamps, which is very good actually. So let's take a look at this guy here. All right, so as you can see here, it, it's very nice. It has a very nice rubber finish. So if it falls, it shouldn't be breaking anytime soon. And um, you have an on and off button. You have a display here and you have these monster leds right there and um they're just super awesome you can get them to strobe like a you know like a police car and stuff so let's go ahead when you open this be careful don't open it this way like i did it was a pain to get the bottom ones back in you have to open it from the top down and there you go 
So what you want to do is you want to turn it on, you know, you switch it on right here. Click that. It'll give you the percentage. When I got it, it was 76%. However, I've been playing with it a lot. So it's just holding out beautiful. Now, if you take a look at this button and you take a look down here, it says the output is 12 volts. So let's just have that focus a bit. Let's see. All right. So as you can see right there, it says 12 volts. Now, if I click this button once, that'll change to 16 and we have 19 volts. That's for charging your PC. And this part is connected basically to this. Whatever's going to be connected to this is getting the voltage that's set right here. So be careful when you do this. You don't want to burn your laptop or anything. So take that into consideration. They give you four USB ports rated up to two amps each, as I believe. And um, yeah, and this is your charging area right there. And um, this I have no idea what it's for, but it looks like something or it was or something. But yeah, um, so it's pretty cool, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And now if you want to, you also have a compass up here, which is pretty insane too. It's one of those little cheapy ones, but I mean, it's still good. So let's go ahead and check the strobe, if, the strobe lights here. So if you hold it down, you just get a very, it's like, it's a one watt LED as I believe. It's very bright. It's insanely bright. So you hold it just for a long time and it'll just turn on and off. Now if we tap it, I forgot how to do it actually. There we go. So you get these emergency lights, you can set this on top of your car. I don't want to break my camera, but this thing is very, very bright. Um, it's just insane. So you do have a bunch of modes, it's pretty crazy, and it's pretty cool also. So that's just a huge plus. However, I don't think I'll be using it, but knowing that I could, if, you know, if I have any issues or any problems, I have this as a backup in my car, it's just super awesome also. So let's just try to figure out how to turn off, who cares? There we go, it's off now. And you just click this again. So it resets to 12 volt every time you turn it off and on. So this is very good. So you don't blow up any of your PCs or anything. So I really do like that. And uh, if you wanted to go ahead and actually jumpstart your car, you go to this part here, put these in. It's kind of like an XT60 connector, pretty close to it. You just stick that in there and then you go ahead and jumpstart your car. What you do is you put this on your battery and then you go ahead and turn it on. And they say not to leave it longer than 30 seconds. As soon as you get the car on, just quickly remove the clamps from the battery so you don't risk damaging this thing. So it's overall, I really love this. I really am in love. I mean, it's super awesome, you know? Um, what you can do and what I will be doing now, I have a bunch of new micros that I'm gonna be flying and I'm actually gonna be building a 3D printed 1S brushless micro. Hopefully that one's gonna be good because I have a bunch of 1S lipos. And if you pair it with this guy, then you have yourself a beautiful setup. Because we this is rated for 12,000 milliamps. So let's just say we got 10,000 milliamps out of it. That's what I have in my mind. I will be testing its full capacity very soon. Um, I just, I kind of lost the pieces that actually do that. But I will be testing that very soon. And I'll come back and make an update video. And we'll also make some, you know, some custom cables to connect to this guy. So this is a charger here from uh, ISDT. And uh, it's called the Q6 Lite 200 Watt 8 Amps uh, charger. So what you can do is just basically create a connection from here to that thing. And you can actually set the voltage that you want on what we saw down here. As you can see right there, if we get it to focus just right. Yeah, and then we can set, you know, 12 volt. Uh, 16 volt and 19 volt you can put into that guy and you can basically charge any lipo you want or you know do some parallel charging however you know it doesn't state anything about the maximum capacity use but i i don't think you should actually go above one and a half amps to two amps maximum uh that's how most you know uh, laptop batteries charge so i'll just stick under two amps uh pulling with this guy from him so if you're charging any battery, don't go over two amps. Plus, you know, if you most of us are flying 1,500 milliamps or even less. Like for me, if I'm using micro batteries, I'm charging at 500 milliamps. So I'm gonna be totally fine there. I'll sometimes I'll charge it at a full amp just to get a quick charge. But um, yeah, other than that, um, this thing is just I'm, I'm madly in love. I mean, look, check this out. Let's go ahead and turn on our soldering iron here. So we got a little soldering iron. This was the main thing why I got it for. However, it's used for a ton load of things that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find. I'm gonna end up, you know, finding use now in winter for it. So what you gotta do is set this up like this. However, like I said, I'm gonna be extending this or possibly purchasing one that's pretty much uh, ready. So there we go. We put this in. So let's go ahead and set this like this. And what we're gonna wanna do here is I should zoom in a little bit, is we want to turn this guy on and then we want to click this guy 
and we immediately got power. So I'm powering this guy off at 12 volts right now. I don't need to use my um, LiPo batteries anymore. And um, I'm very satisfied and I'm very happy actually. Uh, this is just super awesome for me. And also, you know, I also have my <clears throat> ground station here. Um, I will be building a newer ground station actually. So let's just unplug this, put this somewhere where it won't catch fire. Because I kind of forgot where I placed the holder that holds it up for that thing. So let's go ahead and check how we would how would we I haven't even tried to turn on my ground station just yet. So this is what I usually use to debug my stuff in the house also. So it's very nice. So there we go. So that's going to be the perfect size right there. Plug it in, hopefully no smoke, and we immediately got power. That is just super awesome. I am in love here. That is just awesome, really. Um I could charge anything absolutely anything so overall i'm very happy and i can't wait to get using this as to its full potential seeing what comes up along the way how well it's lasting and all that kind of crazy stuff and um if this thing just really lasts as just at least a year or so uh this would probably be one of the best 50 bucks i've ever spent in my life you know just you know the amount of things in this is just beautiful like i could basically just keep this in my car charging always and then uh, just it. it's just always charged whenever I need it charging through the car battery the, the the car's lighter port here and then you know that's it it's just ready for me whenever I need it it's just absolutely beautiful so um, I can't complain the build quality looks very nice uh, it's, it has a bunch of rubber they're stating it's waterproof and uh, shockproof but you know to a certain extent it's shockproof but I think you know dropping it once or twice it ain't gonna break anytime soon so overall I'm very happy and um, <clears throat> It looks awesome, and uh, you know I don't want to say hopefully we're in, we we get, we have to end up trying it on my car because I really don't want to kill the battery's car. But um, if we ever do get stranded, I'll quickly take out my phone and just uh, try it out and see if it works or not. But overall, I mean for me it's just a big ass power bank. That's all I need it for, and uh, just to charge up everything uh, I need here, just like my uh, portable soldering iron and all that kind of crazy stuff. Oh, and by the way, about portable soldering irons, I actually almost burned myself but um i actually found an even cheaper one on banggood like like 20 bucks i think or 30 bucks i ordered it i'll leave a picture to it right here and a link down below so i'm getting that in pretty soon i don't know how long it's gonna take now but once it comes in um i'm gonna be checking that out because to be honest i really don't want to take this one out because i like it so much and it was pretty expensive so i want to see if that one performs just as good if not then i'm just gonna stick to this guy and uh that one will just be possibly just a waste of money but i don't think it'll be a waste of money so we'll see how that works out um, but overall, I'm very pleased and if anyone was curious about this or just wanted to see this here it is and That's gonna conclude it for this video guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care